So Aspen just told me not to film her because she said she has a mullet. But welcome to today's vlog, guys. Aspen doesn't want to be in it because she has a mullet. Because you have a mullet. You're not being in it at all, I promise. So what's up and welcome to today's vlog. Today's gonna be a fun day. I hope. Do you want it to be a fun day? Something super fun that we're gonna go do. Yesterday I was on Instagram and I was looking at the Instagram story from the city that we live in. And there I found this new food truck that we have around here that is uh, like a acai bowl and smoothie and like all vegan healthy food place. So Aspen really wants to go there. So we're gonna go there today. My sister and brother-in-law, Cassidy, the one that's like nine months pregnant, they're in town. So we're gonna do something fun hanging out with them, I'm sure. So yeah, today's gonna be a good day. Okay guys, so I don't have a mullet anymore. Got ready for the day. A little bit, not really. I just curled my hair. I'm not putting on any makeup. Don't have time for that today. The past few days have just been like those days where you like did stuff, but you don't really know what you did. Like it's the end of the day and I'm like, wait, what did I get done today? And I got like stuff done, but I feel like it's just a blur and I don't know what I actually got done. But I've just been catching up on emails and planning out the next week. I feel like anytime that we have a break from traveling, my brain can't really process that. And so to like know that I have more than like three or four days at home and I can actually have a normal like spaced out schedule, I feel like my brain just doesn't understand that. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do this right now and this right now and this tomorrow and this and this. And then I'm like, oh wait, no, I can do that next week. I'll be home. And it's awesome. I love being gone, but I just also love to be home because then I have more time to like do stuff and my days aren't as crazy. We are going to that food truck thing. Hopefully we can find it. I know that it said it was gonna like be somewhere at a certain time. I wasn't actually looking at it. Parker was the one who saw it. Hopefully we can find it because they had really cute looking acai bowls. But worst case scenario is we don't find it and we just go to Jamba Juice and get one because we have a Jamba Juice now. So we can get acai bowls anytime we want. I do have a package to show you guys, so I'm gonna go get it. Today's video is sponsored by ThreadUp. I think this is like my fourth order from ThreadUp. It's either my third or my fourth, but I have ordered so much stuff from there. So I wanted to show you guys what I got because you guys always like to see. So if you guys haven't seen my other videos that I've done with ThreadUp, they are a website and an app where you can buy secondhand clothes and you can get seriously such good deals. I think this is my most exciting order I've placed from them. I literally need to get scissors because it comes in the cutest polka dot box for one. I'm so excited, you guys. I have like one specific item in here that I'm so freaking excited for and I'll tell you why in just a second. When you order, they send you an email and it has your confirmation and everything. And then it also tells you how much you saved on each item. So the first thing I got are these Madewell leggings. I love Thread Up because you can go on their website and you can or app and you can search which specific brands you're looking for. And that's normally what I'll do. I'll kind of like browse around and then I always just end up typing in like what I'm specifically looking for and I think I've said this before but Madewell is like a company that I really really have been liking lately but I don't actually have a ton of stuff from there because it's like a little bit pricey so basically thread up is like my go-to place to get Madewell stuff so since winter is coming I wanted to get these leggings that they were super cute just like plain black with a cute little stripe on them I thought they were cute because they have the stripe and I have like a few pairs of black leggings but they're all just plain black so these are a little bit different let me see how much these were Okay, so these were $60 and I got them for $14.99. Super cute, just like really simple. I'll show you guys me trying all this stuff on right after this. So the next thing I have is this little scarf and this was $24 and I got it for only $4.99. And I got this because I have been loving tying little scarf things around my like hair when I'm doing a bun. And I didn't have this color and I love scarves that are silky and all the ones I have are just like bandanas that aren't really silky, they're just like bandana material. So I thought this one was perfect and it was literally $4.99, so had to get it. Then I got another Madewell item and this one was $60 originally, but I got for $18.99. And I just thought this would be super cute with like jeans for fall or for winter. It's just a blue striped top. I feel like so many things that I have are striped, but I just really like stripes. So yeah, I thought this would be really cute with like this one certain pair of jeans that I have and then some like tan booties. You guys can see it has this little thread up tag on it. That camera focused really fast, wow. We actually got a new vlog camera, 
Let me know if you guys can tell. I feel like some of you guys commented on our last vlog that you could tell, but I don't really know if a lot of you could. The next thing I have is from Anthropology, which is another brand that I really like, but it's a little bit pricey. So I kind of just like to get stuff from there on ThreadUp because you can get it for a lot cheaper. So this pullover sweater was originally 95 and I got it for $34.99. And I thought it was really cute. It's like different than something that I would normally pick out, but I really liked it. It's like, I don't know. I feel like the only word to describe it is like anthropology style. Like, I don't know what word you would use to describe it, but just kind of how it has like all these different colors and like textures and stuff. So then you guys, I'm so excited about this next thing because I swear I was like almost gonna buy this exact same thing the other day and then it was really expensive. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do it. And then I went on thread up and they had the exact same purse for way cheaper. So this is a Rebecca Minkoff bag. I don't think I've ever had one of those before. I don't normally spend like a lot on purses. I'm kind of like a cheap purse person. Like I don't have any designer bags or anything, but this was originally 195 and I got it for $85.99. And I seriously swear I was looking at this exact same purse the other day. And like I said, I decided not to buy it because it was kind of expensive. And then I found it on ThreadUp and I'm so excited. I don't have any purses this color. I tend to always get purses in the exact same colors, like either pink or tan brown. But I thought this was really, really cute for winter. So it's just this blue color. And I have been wanting a purse with, literally I've just been like, wanting this exact purse. I wrote a blog post the other day and I was talking about how I wanted to find a purse with a chain and then I found this one and it's so cute. And I, in my post, I said I wanted to find one that wasn't too expensive. So I'm so excited that I found this. Literally, it was almost $200 and I got it for more than 50% off. So I'm super excited about all these items. That is why I love Throw It Up because you can save a lot of money and it's just good for the environment to by second hand. I also have a promo code for you guys if you want to get 40% off of your first order. You guys can use the code ASPEN40 and I will have a link down below if you guys wanna check it out, but 40% off is so much percent off, you guys. Every time I like do a deal with ThreadUp, I'm so amazed that they do 40% off because that's seriously so good. So again, the link is down below. Okay guys, so I tried on everything at once. Babe, I was gonna say, do I look cute? And you walked away. <laughs> This is all so cute. So like I said, this is from Anthropology, super, super cute. And then you just can't go wrong with a good pair of black leggings. And then I have the blue striped shirt underneath. I'll take it off so you guys can actually like see. I just thought it was funny to put everything on at once. So excited for this purse, you guys. Okay, so I wanted to wear this with jeans, like I said, but I just tied it in a cute little knot to show you guys how I would style it. Yeah, it actually doesn't look too bad with these leggings, even though it's like navy and black. But now I think we're going to meet up with Parker's sister. I think he already said that they're in town, but his sister and her husband are in town. And I'm so excited. Cassie's 36 weeks pregnant. She is due so soon. And I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so freaking pumped. So yeah, we're gonna be on the hunt for an acai bowl truck that we found on Instagram yesterday. And I think we're gonna meet up with them. Yeah, just have a fun rest of the day. Okay, so Parker just informed me that the place supposedly closes at four. It's 3.43. It's either four or five, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that I saw four on the Instagram. I think we're gonna shoot an outfit pic, so I just changed Did you bring real a quick. camera? Just on my phone. Oh. Or your phone, because you have a iPhone 7. Guess what you're gonna have in a couple days. Guys, I got the iPhone X, and I'm really excited, but I don't have it yet. Do any of you guys have the iPhone 8? Comment down below and let us know what you think of it. I feel like I haven't even really seen a lot about the 8. 359. They're closed, so closed. obviously they didn't close at four. The truck is right there. Right there. Sorry, babe. We're gonna get Jamba juice though. Problem solved. We got our Jamba. Parker finished his before I even got mine. Yeah, well, I would finish, yeah. What she just said. <laughs>